All right, pardon the poor video, but I'm going to try to show you how to connect a Canon 6D to your laptop without any Wi-Fi or any wires or anything. Um, with your Canon, a CD came with it, has EOS utility built in. So if you install that and then open it up, um, we're going to go to preferences and start there real quick. Just click OK. In basic settings, let me make sure this is focused OK. Hopefully you guys can read this all right. Just trying to video it on my iPhone. Startup action, click show camera settings, remote shooting screen. And below that, click on this add WFT pairing software to the startup folder. Destination folder, just pick any folder you want. Um, in this case, I just put something on my desktop. And let's see, file name I'm not going to worry about, download images, not yet, remote shooting, <clears throat> I think this is pretty important. If you're shooting RAW and JPEG, it takes about 8 seconds for the JPEG to come over, so I would say go ahead and click this so it's only going to transfer the JPEGs to the computer. Click over here, linked software. I think the default is Digital Photo Professional. I check none because we're going to be using Lightroom. And time settings, I didn't mess with any of that. Click OK. And let's see, from there we could probably close that. OK, go down to your network settings and then open Network and Sharing Center. We are going to create a network that's called an ad hoc network. So if you scroll down, set up wizard right here, we'll click on that one. Click next. Click next again. Network name. Um, I'm just going to give this a temporary one. Very important. Apparently, I could not connect under this default setting. I had to change it to WEP. I don't know if I was doing something wrong before, but nonetheless, here you have 5Ks, 13Ks, 10, 26. Keep it simple. Go with the 5Ks again. Um, if you couldn't read that, let me change back real quick. Five case sensitive characters. We're going to go with that one. So to keep it simple, I'm just going to go number one, 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 five times. If this is a network that you're going to use more than one time, like if you're going to keep using this over multiple days, click save this network. I am not, I'm just using it for this test. So from here, I'm going to click next. Remember your password. Again, mine was all ones. All right, so we're set. We'll close that. And you could see that now if I click here, we are connected to test. Here you could see that I created an ad hoc that saves and I have the settings saved in my camera. But for this scenario, I'm gonna go ahead. Can you see the whole camera? Whoops, I think I moved a little bit. All right, turn this on. Go to menu. Okay, in this setting, these little wrenches, the third one, I have Wi Fi function. I'm going to exit my current one. Um, you should see something like this connect to the laptop. Don't mind what I'm doing right now. Okay, so connect to the laptop. If you hit choose set, um, if you already have it previously saved, you can choose which one you have saved. In this case, I don't. Review change settings. I'm going to change set. Find network. If you've never done this before, I think it kind of comes to this menu um, first. So hit find network. OK. Remember, I named our network test. So there's ad hoc test. Click that. Click OK. Key index, we did the first one that was only five characters. So I'm going to click that and click OK. Enter the five characters, OK. And then we'll hit the Q to switch down here. Again, our five characters are real simple. One, 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 one. Hit menu for OK. And we're going to do auto settings, OK. 
Now here's where you have to be patient. It's going to take a while. Oops. If you look over here in the computer corner, it is working. So we're just going to have to wait a minute. It is faster once you have it set up the first time and it's saved. It takes about, I think, 90 seconds total to connect. The nice thing about it, once it's all connected and saved and you have it saved in here, basically when you turn your computer on, you connect to your network, your ad hoc network. And again, this could be anywhere, even without internet access. You could be in the middle of a field with just your laptop and your camera. And then with your camera, you turn it on, you wait your 90 seconds, it connects. So, any day now. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, start pairing devices. I'm going to click OK. Now, you should see, there we go. WFT pairing software, click on that. There's my Canon 6D. Click Connect. Alright, we'll minimize this. Now it's saying it's found, connect to PC, click OK. I could change the setting names if I want to um, save this. In this particular case, I'm not going to, but I have done that previously. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. You see this box popped up. Uh, I'm not going to change anything with this. From here, we are going to open our Lightroom. And in Lightroom, go to File, Auto Import, Enable Auto Import, make sure that's checked, and then you're going to go to your Auto Import Settings. You're going to the watch folder, wherever you told the other program to download your photos to, that's what you're going to choose here. So make sure you have that checked. And for me, I'm having them actually take the photos that are in this folder and move them to a different folder. Uh, not that you have to do that, but that's just what I'm doing. And then I also decided to add a development setting. One of my presets is going to be added to the photos. And then I just hit OK. So now, every time I take a picture with my camera, it's going to automatically send a JPEG over to the folder, which will get imported into here. It'll say Studio Session and then Auto Import. So let me go ahead and gonna take a photo now, uh, just of the screen, I guess, here. And again, it takes about eight seconds for that photo. And here it's loading, and there it is. Uh, so hopefully that will help you get tethered to your camera without any wires. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Just leave them in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.